Welcome back to my channel. I'm Shakayla Mituan. I'm a full-time reseller. I sell predominantly on Poshmark as well as eBay and Mercari. And today I'm taking y'all thrifting with a girl. Um, it's Saturday and I actually woke up wanting to hit some garage sales. I never really sourced from garage sales. Let me know down below if you use garage sales to source for most of your things. Um, so I wanted to hit garage sales, but then I was like, oh, I'm gonna have to go to the bank or the ATM and get some cash. I don't ever carry cash. I just don't believe in cash. Carrying cash, I just don't want to do it. And I also feel like I spend more money when I have cash. Like, I'm just going to spend all of the cash if it's in my purse. <laughs> but, um, so I decided to hit some of my regular thrift stores. This first one I went to. And, y'all, I went in there and broke some stuff. Trying to film, trying to be discreet, and broke two little teacups. That was my first time breaking something. That's why I stay away from the electronics and the dishes and stuff. I, but anywho, <laughs> I ended up finding this. It's a simple, it's called Simple, and it is a iPhone um, sanitizer. So I found this, and I actually looked it up, and it's being sold. Oops. I actually looked it up, and it's being sold on Target for $39. Let me pull it up here. Yeah, it's it's called a simple UVC device sanitizer. Yeah, and it's been so, being sold right now for forty dollars. What do they say about it? About this item: quickly sanitize phones, keys, jewelry, credit cards, glasses, and more. Built-in USB-A charging port to charge additional devices. Fits mobile phones up to four inches. Um, by 6.75 inches. Fast three minute cleaning process includes USB-C cable as power source for sanitizing station. Okay, cool. So that is what I found out of there. And I looked at some of the comps on eBay and I saw around $27, $28. So that's what I'm hoping to get for this. And um, that'll be a good find. That'll be a good find. So that's all I found out of there. Yeah, I did see some tennis rackets. It was like some vintage Phillips tennis rackets and I didn't get them because they were just too dirty. And that's why I, I've noticed like a lot of men, they do good with the eBay stuff because they will pick up anything and they're not grossed out by stuff. But me, I'd rather just, a lot of times I'd rather just stick to clean clothes. Like I just want to deal with clothes. They're clean, I take them home, give them another steam and put them away. When you're dealing with different electronics and stuff and appliances, oof, sometimes you have to do a little work and get them clean and different things. And so I am in a position right now where I feel like I need to pivot and I need to change my trajectory just a little bit with my business. I have been selling clothes, but you guys probably know my goal is to make at least $1,000 a week minimum. And I don't see that happening with selling clothes right now I just don't um, I'm gonna continue selling clothes but I feel like I need to slowly start learning how to sell other other items and start learning what to look for um, as far as appliances and electronics when selling on eBay and I think with that I'll be able to hit my $1,000 a week goal but I will be sticking to smaller electronics because I just don't have the storage for huge items so but there is a couple more thrift stores down the block so I'm gonna hit those and hopefully I don't break nothing else. Child, that was embarrassing. 
Okay. I just came out of the store and um, I didn't get anything because they just didn't have anything that I thought was good enough to buy. And honestly, I looked through some things, but the store just had a, a stench to it and I couldn't in good faith buy stuff because, I mean, I have to do some deep cleaning. I just don't even know. Like when I go into Goodwills, of course there's going to be a smell when you go into thrift stores because there's a lot of old clothes. but. It was stinking in there, so <laughs> I'm not gonna be able to. I, I won't be back. And you know, I haven't been in this store in some years, maybe five, six, seven years. But um, mm -mm, it's not my cup of tea. I didn't see nothing of quality. I didn't see anything. I did, yeah, I did see some motorcycle helmets. That's one thing I did see, but they were sixty dollars. How can I resell something? I gotta pay sixty dollars for them. I don't know how much they go for. And you know, I saw motorcycle helmets before and at another thrift store, a really nice thrift store, and they were 50 and I was like, that's too much. So, man, can I find a motorcycle? Let me manifest myself finding motorcycle helmets for $10 because that's what I want. I'm not paying $60 for a motorcycle helmet, but yeah, on to the next thrift store. I'm trying to go places I haven't been before or I haven't been in a long time because I feel like my wheels are drying up. Like I go to the same good wheels, the same different consignments, and I've noticed like you'll get there, especially if you don't get there as soon as they open, and it'll be dry. Like it'll be nothing in these stores except like Walmart stuff, Target stuff, um, various other little stores that donate to Goodwill. And um I'm like, I gotta find some new places, I gotta find a new spot. So I thought I would look in here, but this ain't it. This ain't it. So I'm about to go to one of my places that I go to all the all the time. Let's see what they got. Cause this wasn't it. <laughs> okay. I just came out of the third store and y'all I've actually found something. And this is a place that I go to at least twice a month. I try to get over here. Um so I did find some things. I picked up a Madewell sweater, but it was a size small, so I was like, nah, I'm not getting that. I'm trying to get stick to bigger sizes. I bought so many smaller items that I need to get bigger sizes. What is going on my windshield? Um, and then I found an Eileen Fisher silk, like silk jacket, and it was an extra small, so I wasn't trying to fool with that either. I put that back. Um, I picked up a bunch of stuff and I just started putting stuff back towards the um, end. But what I did find was I found this new tag in Taylor. I want y'all to be able to see it. In Taylor green flare skirt. It's very pretty. Um, it says it was regular $109. It's the size 10. Um, this is very very pretty so I was happy to find this and you know I will pick up brands like Ann Taylor and Talbot's normally if they are brand new with tags um, That's kind of the 
the line that I have for it, that's the standard I have for it. I like it new attacks. I even found a J. Jill um, jacket. It was a denim, like loose flowy denim type jacket. It was really pretty. It zipped up the front. But I left it because it wasn't new with tags. And I saw when I looked up the comps that it wasn't selling for a lot. But see, I just sold a J. Jill jacket. It was a cardigan type jacket. And I sold it, I think, for like anywhere from $40 to $50. It might have been a little bit more. And it was brand new with tags. So that kind of gives you some bargaining power when people are shopping your closet. People want brand new stuff. And so you can ask for a little bit more. So I don't really... I try to steer clear of stuff when it's not new with tags on certain brands. Now, this next item that I found, I found a pajama set. I didn't find just any pajama set, y'all, and this is pretty. Look at that color. This is an Eileen Fisher pajama set, y'all. It's a size extra large, and I wanted to check and see if it's silk. It looks like silk to me. Um... Let's see, 100% silk. This is this was an excellent find. I'm gonna be able to get a decent amount. I feel like I can get anywhere from 50 to 70 dollars for this. Since it, I mean, it's not brand new tags. I'm gonna steam this up really, really nice and post this today because wow. And here is the top, the pajama top. That is so pretty. Literally, this is something I would like. Cause it's that pretty you can just lounge around your house in it and look really luxurious and like you are a lady i feel like i'm not picking up the color i'm so happy you know i had a feeling it was silk it looked like silk but sometimes things look like silk and they feel like silk but it might not be silk this is a hundred percent silk so both the bottom and the top are um extra larges and um, I checked inside, everything looks clean. Is there anything in these pockets? Yeah, I have to check my pockets because you never know if somebody left some money. I don't know who would put money in their pajamas, but I would be hurt if I ship something out. And I sent one of y'all hundred dollars or twenty dollars. I'm not gonna even lie, I'd be, I'd be a little hurt. Like I just shipped some money out. So. All right, I'm trying to think. Where can I stop for my fourth store? I'm wrecking my brain right now. I'm wrecking my brain. Hmm. Now, if y'all ever find something really nice, and when you get to the register, the cashier. They'll go like, oh, wow, this is this St. John or this is Eileen Fish. Oh, my God. Oh, this is a, almost like they're trying to school you on what you're buying. I hate that. I don't know. Maybe it's just maybe it's just me overthinking. But sometimes I feel like people are trying to school me in these thrift stores. I really do. And it's like, girl, I know what it is. That's why I picked it up because I'm about to sell it. <laughs> you don't have to tell me. Anywho, y'all, we need to find the next place. And I haven't ate. Y'all know I just be starving most of the time. But I brought me some snacks, y'all. I've been making me a little trail mix bag. It has almonds. I got some dried cranberries and some dried blueberries in here. So I snack on this throughout the day. But shoot, I still got to get some food. I'm kind of wanting a chickpea salad from Aldi's. If y'all have an Aldi's in your city... Try the chickpea salad. It's back there by the bean salad. It's back on the wall by the cheeses and all of that and the guacamole. Get you a chickpea salad. When I get home, I add a little bit of lemon juice to it and some salt and pepper and stuff. Baby. Baby. Oh, wee wee, baby. <laughs> I know where I could go. I could go to the Goodwill that's close to my house. what it is about tonight but it feels like a Saturday night but it is in fact a Monday night it is 8 52 on a Monday night y'all and I'm gonna work a little bit tonight get some things done 
This morning I didn't do a whole lot. What did I do today? I took packages to the uh, to the post office, and uh, what else did I do? Oh yeah, I stopped at the store and got me some sushi, a shrimp tempura roll. Y'all know that's my favorite. And I really shouldn't have been eating it. I'm about to cut these off because they drive me nuts. I really shouldn't have been eating that sushi, y'all, because the rice. The rice is carbs and with my body type and how I lose weight, I can't eat carbs. But you know what? I said, look, we're going to have some sushi today. At least we're not eating ice cream. I haven't had ice cream in like five months. No, maybe four. Okay. These are off. These have been irritating me for a long time on this set. Went to the post office. Went to have sushi. Came back home. Ooh, y'all. Came back home. I don't even remember. Today was a blur. But I know I'm about to get to work now. So, I made a sale this evening on Mercari. And I sold a vet sweater. And it was really nice to get this sweater sold. Um, it's been about three weeks that it was up. And it's a vent 100% cashmere v-neck sweater. And it sold for $36. It was nice to get it sold because it's a size extra small and I'm gonna go ahead and get it packed up so we are gonna find it one way I find my items in my inventory system is through Poshmark I don't really have them identified over on over on the other apps but on Poshmark I always know where my stuff is at so I just go to my Poshmark listing and I'm gonna show you all how this looks I go to my Poshmark listing go to edit and I go all the way down to where it says additional details, private, and listing SKU. And I see that my item is in, in tote 1E and it is item number 140. So let's go ahead and look over in tote 1E and look for item 140. So we're at tote 1E and I can tell my item is right at the top because I see the color. But you can see it's item 140 and this system really works well for me. Um, and there is my Vince sweater, so I'm going to get it ready to pack. So I got my package all packaged up and I had to really stuff it. <laughs> but um, it's first class meal so I didn't have a box for it. I don't keep a lot of the brown boxes. I only really have the priority mail boxes. Sometimes I'll keep a few just regular brown boxes on hand. And I'm really big on recycling boxes that come in the house so that I can use them for shipping because I don't buy boxes. So recently I have joined Flip and I've joined Flip for its cross listing tools as a reseller. And what really drew me to Flip was the fact that this is a, a free platform um, for cross listing in. For a while I was with Prime Lister, which Prime Lister works really great. Um, my first month I believe was around $35 and I think it goes to around $49 a month regular. So when I found out about Flip, I was excited to have a free option. I constantly thought to myself, someone should offer a free option and every reseller will jump on that. And um, Flip, I guess they went ahead and got to it and started offering a free cross listing um, Chrome extension. So um, I went ahead and tried it out. I signed up and it took around two weeks on the wait list before I was allowed to get in there and start working. Um, I initially thought, oh, I'll just sign up and I can start. No, it took two weeks. Finally received the email showing that I was um, now off the wait list and accepted. At first, I started adding items over to eBay and then eBay, I had, I've added so much stuff over there, they stopped me because I guess I had met my quota for the month or whatever. And so I went ahead and started adding more items to Mercari until I got everything from Poshmark over to Mercari that needs to be over there. And now I am looking to 
cross list over to Facebook Market. So I'm gonna do, I'm gonna try to do at least five to ten listings on Facebook Market tonight. I actually have a few items. I have mostly handbags on Facebook Marketplace right now. Um, and my Facebook Marketplace is 77 Vintage Row, so check me out on there if you are on Facebook Market. And you all know that my goal is to get 1K a week. That's my goal. And right now, I feel like having myself on different platforms, it, it can only be beneficial for me. Even if I'm getting one sell a week, it could be one big sell a week, so. I will always advocate for <laughs> being a part of, being on several different selling platforms because I feel like it could only help. Now, if you're maybe not making anything on a platform, then you should probably rethink it. I know I was on Depop for a while and I just wasn't getting any action. So I, I thought to myself, are there any buyers even on this app? So I went ahead and got on off of there and that's probably the only app that I completely decided to just give up on. Um, but yeah, so we're going to do some marketplace, Facebook marketplace listings, and I'm going to show you all how I do that today. Welcome to 77 Vintage Row. We carry vintage, modern, classic wear, and today I'm going to be cross-listing from my Poshmark page using Flip. Today I'll be sharing a simple Flip tutorial. Using the Flip cross-lister, I'm able to access several reselling platforms with ease. So let's go ahead and get started. At the top left corner, I click cross lister. And then I go through my list of imported listings and I click a listing that I want to cross list over to Facebook Market. The left panel has several different selling platforms and since I wanna cross list over to Facebook, I'm gonna click Facebook. If you look over at Poshmark, you can see that it says listed with a check mark in the color green. Now, every time that you list something properly, on a selling platform, it's going to say that next to the selling platform's name. So if I list correctly on Macari, it'll say listed check mark and so on and so forth. Listing on Facebook is fairly easy. I always check the condition and make sure that it's correct, whether that means it's gently used or new with tags. And then I go to the category and select the clothing category that my item falls in. After selecting the proper category, I scroll past size and color, which is optional, and I go to my delivery method. I choose shipping only so that I don't have to do local meetups with people. And for my shipping option, I use a prepaid label. And my package weight, I normally just take a guess because I've been doing this a while, so I kind of know what things weigh, but you can always use your shipping scale to know the exact weight. After I'm finished with that, I click list, and it takes a little while to list. Then I look over to my Facebook side and it says listed with a green check mark. So I know that it was completed and I even go over to my Facebook market app and I check to make sure that the item was added to my listings. Now that I've completed my first listing, I wanna go back to the rest of my items to choose something. So I click the top left button that says my items and choose another item to cross list. So the next item that I'm choosing are my CV sneakers and you can see they're on Poshmark and we're going to do the same thing we did on the last listing. Click Facebook and these are new with tags so I'm keeping the condition the same and then I choose the category which is women's shoes. So I skip over the sizing because I normally put it in my description and I go ahead and click the delivery options which are going to be the same as last post. Um, which is a prepaid shipping label. The box would be around two pounds. And I would choose USPS because that just makes my life simple. I always have USPS boxes. So that's what I tend to choose for my boxes and, and shipping preferences. I click list and off to the side, you can see under Facebook, it says listed with a green check mark. So this process can seem kind of repetitive. And as you can see, this is super easy. It's not hard at all. Um, I just chose my Agoldi suit and with this listing, I went ahead and put the sizing in. Um, it's a size 12 suit and so when it, where it says optional, I went ahead and just put in that it was a size 12 and you guys can definitely utilize, you know, that part of this process and put in the sizing. I know on eBay and Mercari, it makes you put in a size. I'm not sure why Facebook doesn't make you put in a size for things, but hey, it's pretty much whatever you want to do. 
Next, I'm selecting all my shipping preferences. And after I do that, I'm gonna click list. And you will see that green check mark off to the side underneath the Facebook icon. I'm almost finished um, cross-listing the Agoldi jumpsuit. And there's, there is one thing about the flip cross lister that I've noticed compared to prime lister and that is that it goes slow so when I am trying to cross list over to Facebook it takes a minute to do it I can put in all the information and once I push click list on Facebook it'll say oh it'll take around 30 seconds for it to do it and it can take about a minute so realistically it can take around two to three minutes to do each listing but I don't mind because it's free. So that's not gonna deter me. So I got, I have the Ogolji listed and now I'm gonna go over, back over here and click one more item. We have three items so far and I'm gonna click one more item to cross list. Let's make it a good one. Oh, I need to delete some things. I actually sold a toy, this Tory Burch eye glass case. So I'm gonna delete this. Actually I'll mark it as sold. It was sold on Poshmark. So another thing you can do on Flip, you can mark items as sold and it can mark it as sold on all of your platforms. So that makes it really nice and convenient. And I'm gonna do this universal form. It's a Target workout set and it's yellow and it's really pretty. So I'm going to do this. And cross listed okay so I just listed my last item on Facebook marketplace for the night y'all it's 9 40 and I'm really sleepy but who cares about sleep more well, we got things to take pictures of um, I'm gonna be right back I gotta go run and get this set from upstairs that I want to sell it's a really pretty Zara set I'll be back to show you guys what it looks so this like this is the set y'all it's so cute it's a little halter top and you can see it's Zara and what size is this this is a size large and it comes with some really cute pants and this is a stretchy set pants are a size large as well so i'm gonna go ahead and get these all photographed and i think the first thing i want to do i think i'm gonna put them in my shoe box this right here is my shoe box and not my shoe box this is right here is my light box but i do photograph a lot of shoes in here and anything that's tiny i actually link this down below in the uh, description box and it's so helpful it makes things look really really nice so that's what i'm going to photograph this in i'm also going to show it um hanging up on the wall but this will be great for just a few of the pictures so this is how it looks in my light box and I probably shouldn't do this, but sometimes I put a hanger back there and just put it at the top. And so that my pictures have a nice clean white background. I'm gonna take some really good detailed pictures. You see how nice and clean that background looks? I'm actually looking to get a really tall apparel box, apparel light box, so that I can have my pictures look like this for my jeans and long dresses and long jackets and such. So. You just really, it's good to invest in things like this. It makes your pictures look way, way better. So I am pretty much finished for the evening, for the night, it's 10 o'clock. Um, it's past my bedtime. Yeah, I like to be to sleep. I like to be in the bed at around 8.30, 8.45. I don't know what it is. Like, let me get to the bed by, at least by nine o'clock. <laughs> so I, yeah, I finished my work for the night and it's 10 o'clock i'm looking on poshmark and there is a party going on that i need to share too and that's something that i didn't tell you all earlier so flip you also have a free sharing device on flip um if you go to one side says cross lister and then there's another part that says sharer and it will just share your closet for you you just click a button and it'll share it it'll it can randomize how it shares or you can say you know 
share it exactly how it is on the page just whatever you want pretty much you can choose to share it quickly or share it slowly and it just has quite a bit of different things you can do on there so so far I have really enjoyed flip it has proved to be quite useful for me and it's free 99 <laughs> so that's always a good thing um tomorrow my day is pretty much looking like I'm gonna really buckle down on sharing things over to well cross listing over to Facebook marketplace um, I haven't really been focusing on it but I'm ready to completely focus on getting everything over to Facebook marketplace and I need to also make sure that I have all of my listings on Mercari as well as eBay and Mercari has been doing so good for me. I'm getting a sale at least minimum every three days. And I know some people might say, well, that's not good. It's good for me. So if I can get two to three sales a week on Mercari, I'm happy. And it has really taken the place of Poshmark. And by that, I don't mean it's I'm getting sales like I would normally on Poshmark. But what it has done is it has almost replaced the sales that I've lost on Poshmark. Mercari has kind of picked up the slack for that. So I'm really focusing on making sure I have everything over on Mercari because the sellers are, the buyers are really, they're there. They're really over there right now. So I'm focusing on promoting things over there, dropping those prices over there, sending offers to likers and so on and so forth. Yeah, so tomorrow we're gonna buckle down and do Facebook Marketplace all day and Actually, the first thing in the morning, I'm gonna do a what's sold video. I'm gonna film for that. All right, y'all, I have got to hit day. <laughs> Love it. Love it. Love it. Love it.